Okay, this is part six. Uh, that technique seemed to work pretty well. I've never tried it that way before. I normally uh, do the same thing with the, you know, the registration mark just so I can see what I'm doing. But in the past, um, I would tack it from the underside and end up flipping the stove around all different directions. But that actually worked really well. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so basically, once I had everything set up like I wanted it, I gave it a good tack here. Gave it a good tack here. And same thing on the, on the opposite side. So tack on the other side there. Tack at the front of the plate on the other side there. And then since you're basically uh, welding a, like a square cut to a radius. I kind of I built this up right here, made a real strong tack. Same thing here, kind of built it up, did a real strong tack. And then I just, you know, every inch or so, inch and a half, I just filled in couple little spots in between the other tacks and made sure to remove the two by fours that I had under there because they're gonna get pretty hot and you don't want those catching on fire so that's probably best to remove them after you have everything tacked to your liking so now I'm gonna start fully welding this and what I like to do is I'll do this, this back one first, and I'll just do a continuous weld. I'll just roll straight on through it, and then let that cool off a little bit. And then from that point, you can just keep on getting it on each side. If you hear something pop, it's gonna be one of your tacks letting loose. And that's pretty normal. I mean, you can stop and check, make sure nothing's um, out of alignment. But even if everything's perfectly aligned, you know, heat, heat when you're welding does uh, different things to the metal. It pulls it different directions, and it's not uncommon to hear a tack pop loose. But you're going to absorb it anyway in your full weld. So, And what you see here too is um, I've already brushed it with a stainless brush. I haven't hit it with a grind or anything like that. I just kind of brushed where the soot was from, from making the tacks. And where the decal was, because uh, Winchester Metals, um, they are making these neat little Watchman stove serial numbers. Uh, on each stove so they had a, a label taped on here and since it's a kit and it's not finished um, they just tape it on there for transport so I took that off and I just I just prepped this with a flap wheel where there was a little bit of tape residue no big deal at all you're gonna go over this thing multiple times with a flap wheel um, just through the different processes so now you can see why you know that is a good weld, it just doesn't look the greatest. And I just ground it flat so I can move this plate up and down. And uh, you know, this weld, I took my time on that, made it nice. And same thing, you know, once you get everything laid out how you want, that's when you can take your time and make some real pretty welds and uh, have a good time with this kit. All right, so I'm gonna finish those welds. Um, I'm shooting everything from my phone. I don't have a helper down here or anything, so I don't have anything to set this camera on. So we're just going to make these welds, and, and uh, I'll show you what they look like here in a little bit. Okay, here's the first weld on the back of the stove. And again, I just you know brushed it with a stainless brush. I like getting the soot off of there, so I don't pick it up on any other welds. That's why I always brush my tacks. Really, really uh, probably don't even have to do that, but it also allows you to see if you got pretty respectable looking weld. 
All right, let's do some more. And again, sorry for not having any uh, weld sequences that you can see, but you know, we're working up to that. We'll, we'll get there. Okay, you can see where I continued that corner into where the two pieces of six inch tube meet. And instead of doing a full run on that, I decided to come over here, pick up where I left off on this corner and pulled it this way. And I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but I've got my machine set for 3 16 This uh, six inch tube is 3 16 thick. The potato plate's quarter inch. So you can pause a little longer on the quarter inch side. And I'm just, I'm just doing like a crescent shape. So I'm just like doing like that. Just kind of whipping it into the 3 16 But that was a good stopping point where the, the two six inch tubes join. So I'll go ahead and finish these out and um, show you what it looks like. Okay, we've got the potato plate fully welded. Turned out pretty decent. It's still pretty hot, but let's see what she looks like. And so now you can also see why I try to predetermine where the end of the potato plate is going to be. Because I really, I don't want it to be where I'm, you know, melting away part of the feed tube. So I always try to uh, continue my weld and kind of round the front corner of the potato plate into the feed tube. That'll work. That was a whole lot easier than the last way that I did it which was, you know, flipping it all around. I mean, that way works too, but I'm content with that. Um, for you guys that uh, are new to this channel, I used to have a whole bunch of barbecue, smoker videos, all kinds of different things on here. So I'm trying to get back to that. And there will be, um, you know, weld sequences of things in the future. So please uh, bear with me and stay tuned and we'll try to make some other cool things. This is, this is just a stove that I got from uh, Winchester Metals. They produce completed kits that are already high temperature powder coated and everything. Um, but they also sell these do-it-yourself kits. And uh, pretty happy to be involved with uh, everyone over there at Winchester Metals. But every once in a while, I'll have them ship me one to the house and I'll uh, build one just to stay in practice and uh, give it to somebody who's uh, going out of their way, looking out for others, trying to pay it forward as much as I can. So. All right, you guys, um, that's it for this step, and uh, talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.